All right, we are going to check back in with uh, South St. Louis. It looks like Mayor Jones is up on stage now, and we're going to go listen to the mayor of St. Louis, Tashara Jones, speak to supporters of Trudy Bush Valentine about what's at stake, not only in the balance of power in the Senate, but in St. Louis and Missouri. Let's listen Tonight, in. this will be the first time in Missouri history that we send a nurse to the U.S. Senate. And I was one of the, I endorsed Trudy in the primary and I caught a lot of flack. Why did you endorse Trudy? I said, because I believe in her. When I had a chance to talk to her and get to know her, I knew that, that she cared and had a passion that no other candidate had. And when I talk to young people about running for office and they ask, you know, what kind of qualifications do you need to run for office? I said, you just need to care about people. That's the only qualification that you need to run for office. And we know that Trudy is not in this for fame. She's not in this for fortune. She's not in this to go to another uh, office uh, as a stepping stone because we know that our current senator has done nothing but use this as an office so he could run for the White House or whatever he wants to do. We want people in the U.S. Senate who care about us, who care about Missouri, and who care about our urban centers. And at, at one point during the campaign, I didn't know who Eric Schmidt was running against. Was he running against Trudy or was he running against me? Because I was all over his commercials. <laughs> and, 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 and false. Right? I think he got four Pinocchios for that crazy ad that he ran uh, saying that I wanted to defund the police and, you know, and uh, I'm a radical or whatever that is. But you know what? I'm radical when it comes to my city. I'm radical when it comes to caring about people. I'm radical when, I, when it comes to wanting people to thrive. And I know that Trudy is too. And if that makes us a radical, then we'll be that. We'll be that. So I am just so happy to see that all of you are here tonight supporting Trudy and supporting her candidacy because this was a long road uh, for her to step up. And we thank her so much for stepping up and running at a time when this country needed people like Trudy to run for public office. Can we give Trudy a round of applause so she can hear us wherever she is? And All right, that's I know that she's uh, Mayor Tashara later, Jones. You're I, hearing her I, give some remarks uh, at the campaign headquarters for Trudy Bush Valentine, speaking in sort of a comfortable, freewheeling way, firing back at Attorney General Eric Schmidt, the mayor of St. Louis, feeling quite comfortable in her campaign uh, <laughs> speech, if you will, there. Anita Mannion is joining me on the decision desk, the digital decision desk, uh, as we turn to analyze part of what we just heard. Uh, it seems like she was watching this race and felt some of the pressure but brushes it off from Eric Schmidt. Yeah, I think that, you know, if anything, she was calling him out for focusing on her in ads and for some of the other ads we've already discussed. Um, you know, it, it might play well in that room. I'm not sure how much, you know, at this point, it's not going to affect the election results, right? <laughs> yeah, but you, you wonder about her own ambition when she uh, sort of takes a shot at, at uh, somebody who is expected, I think, by most people to be the next senator of Missouri. But uh, she, she, she holds her punches when it comes to the governor because the governor of Missouri can affect the city of St. Louis. That's right. A U.S. senator is an easy punching bag because they can't really hit back. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. And it could be entirely possible that Tashara Jones has other aspirations. So far, the Democrats have not had a very strong lineup for statewide races. Um, so maybe she's planning on being part of that bullpen. You see uh, the difference there in how comfortable she feels just speaking and right. going on the attack. Even Trudy Bush Valentine was very careful on the campaign trail. I saw her even behind the scenes sometimes sort of workshop how, how should I say, I don't want to offend anybody. How do I say this just right? Trying to appease everyone. And I don't know that she was very comfortable in her own skin or that she was very rehearsed. You know, uh, it was disappointing to me that we didn't see our Senate candidates debate. Um, I think there are a number of reasons for that. But also Trudy Bush Valentine 
had the opportunity to sort of develop some of those skills during the primary election and she didn't. We didn't see her doing a lot of town halls, interfacing um, in informal ways with voters or talking to the press a lot. So I think she was still building those skills. And unlike Tashara Jones, who's in super democratic St. Louis City, Trudy Bush Valentine has to appeal to Missouri voters statewide. So I think she has to toe that line a little bit more. Yeah, uh, we're gonna get into